Hello. And what happens if I don't? I need to make Plants vs Zombies in Minecraft. So let's get started. If you've never heard of Plants vs Zombies, it's about zombies trying to attack your house and using plants to defend said house. My goal for this game is to make the first two stages with their corresponding plants and zombies and then release the world download so you guys can play it. On day one, I started work on constructing the PVC house. I made sure to get details like the roof tiles and the surrounding decorations for extra accuracy, which ended up taking a lot longer than I expected, so... In order to be able to finish the game before I'm gonna show it to my friend on day 14, I quickly finished the house and redirected my focus to the area around the house, which now consists of trees. Nice. On day 3 it was time to start coding, and now clicking on the ground will place a pea shooter. Oh right, <laughs> the, the pea shooter. So this is where I admit to cheating. That's right, I uh, I cheated. I actually already made all the plant models before the 14 days started. Anyways, with that being said, the pea shooter was looking kinda ugly. So I remade it and also made all the other plants placeable. Moving on, I made the plants wiggle. And after a bit of tweaking values, they were doing a perfect wiggle. I would know. I was like in a, you know, I was in like a group. Anyway, along with that, I also made the plants actually do things and not just sit there, because that's not very plant-like of them. <laughs> so now the pea shooter can shoot, the sun can make sun, and the grave buster can bust. And I suppose I modeled the graves too, because they exist. However, these zombies don't seem disturbed at all by the peace coming his way. And that was my terrible attempt at transitioning into day 5, where I made the different zombie types. Starting with the day zombies, I modeled their accessories, and even changed the zombie texture to make it match the real deal better. I then of course also made the night zombies, and wow, that hair is something else. After that, I needed a system for spawning the zombies at the right times. So... Alright, so here's the setup we got. We got Minecraft right here. And then on my second monitor, I have the Plants vs Zombies gameplay. And whenever there shows up a zombie, like over here, I have to place the correct block. So right now there's a zombie over there. I place a block. It is finally complete. Look at that. Hold on. This reminds me of something. The following day I made them spawn in a random lane, but after this happened, I decided that this system was way too unfair, so I added a check to make sure that doesn't happen. Also, zombies seem to be dying now, and even have a death animation, but it seemed to have been neglected in my notes. Like, it is, it is literally nowhere to be seen. But it is happening, so I clearly made it. Day 6 is also when I made the zombies have different abilities, such as the pole vaulting zombie, or the dancing zombie. <laughs> After a good night's rest, I tried adding sounds, but noticed they weren't sounding quite as they're supposed to. I was pretty sure I hadn't gone crazy, so I compared the sounds in different versions. I, you cannot tell me those two aren't different. I even called my friend Nighty to see if he had the same issue. Yo, Nighty, uh, does your game sound normal? Sounds fine to me. Alright, thank you. Damn. I reported it as a bug and by the end of the day it had three watchers. I'm kind of a big deal. Anyways, I added a lot of sounds to the game and now it sounds lovely. And that is when I realized I have three tests, one assignment and one presentation due next week. This is what we call a dilemma. Obama? You have to believe in yourself, Ankus. Focus on the correct task. You're right. I'm joking. Stay in school. So I convinced the zombies to give me a one week break. And when the week was up, I got to work again on day 8. The first thing I did back was testing ways to implement Dave. Who's this guy? This is Dave. And he talks sometimes. At first I tried using the overlay of a card pumpkin, but quickly realized that this would only allow me one texture. However, with some more research, I discovered... Apparently using custom fonts, you can kind of put any image anywhere you want on the screen. And using this newfound technique, I was able to make this. I don't know about you, but I think Dave is looking kind of cute. Oh, wait till you see this. He just did a flip with his saucer. Did you see that? No, but for real, that animation took me like half an hour. And it's visible for half a second of the game. 
I'm not crying. I built this little hut in the forest. It might look like an ordinary hut, but it isn't. It's a, it's a plant selection hut. That's literally all I did that day. Next day. Day 10 was the day of things I forgot, which include, but it's not limited to, night mode and nightmare mode. Music. Lawn mowers. Why are they sad? And lastly, a level selection graveyard to actually start the game with. At this point, I felt pretty good about my chances of finishing the game before I have to show it to my friend. After that, I kept adding some final crucial game features before I, for the first time, actually could try playing the game. And let me tell you, it, it was fun. A lot of fun. But with the levels being playable, I also needed to add a reward for beating a level. Again, using the magic of custom fonts, I was able to make beating a level look like this. I don't know about you, but the fact that this is possible is crazy to me. Day 12 was all about the special levels, the two most notable ones being the bowling level and the whack -a zombie level. Starting with the bowling level, I made a system for spawning in walnuts from the sky and made placing them make them roll, like a bowling ball. And the occasional explode or not, well, explode. This is definitely my favorite level in the entire game. However, I uh, somehow managed to break some other things in the code. With that out of the way, I began making whack a zombie by modeling a mallet. This level was a bit more tricky to get working because it's so different from the rest of the game. In fact, it even turned me into a Steve skin. Eventually I got it working though. As the 14 days were coming to an end, there was just final touches left, like displaying sun cost on the plants. Finding this button that apparently exists and made the plants look 10 times better, who was gonna tell me that was there? And moved on to the last day. And with only one day left, it's time to reveal what I have planned for the end of the game. Because two stages isn't enough gameplay for an entire game, I have decided to add an endless mode. Yeah! Endless! The way it will work is that there will be waves, and every wave will have one more zombie than the last one. And then I just randomized the zombie type based on what wave you're on, and implementing it was actually really easy. I also playtested it and found it to be a bit too easy, and after increasing the difficulty, I promptly failed a few waves later. So now that the zombies are off my back, I can finally- Did I hear Plants vs Zombies? You literally didn't! This is strange. He likes Plants vs Zombies, and I'm gonna play the game with him. Oh my god, this- it does- Oh, why you place it right there, bro? What the- okay, no, no, What no, no, was that? Here, out. No, 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 pause, pause, pause. This is actually a strategy that I do. I actually place the sunflowers in the third and fourth Dumbest layer. thing- Wait, oh my god. Angus, please tell me you've made, like, walnut bowling. Oh my god, if you did, bro- <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that's so come cool. Down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at how big my nuts are. Two hours later. This is the last challenge. Blah, if blah, we blah. lose, we end the video. Let's go! Is it Bob Ross? There is. And then another one. And then another one. Oh my god. We beat the game! I'm gonna keep it short in this video, but if you wanna see more gameplay, I'll post a video on my second channel about it. You can find the world download in the description. Thanks for watching.